very intrigued by Acer's Concept D line of laptops when the company first announced it at its global press conference in April in New York. And we've since seen the company add on to the series. First with the Concept D7 that we saw at Computex in Taiwan, we saw a version of that laptop specced with then just announced NVIDIA Quadro RTX graphics processors. But this time at EVA, the company is announcing a whole new pro version of the Concept D series. So in addition to the Concept D 5, 9, and 7, you're also going to be able to get the Concept D 5, 9, and 7 Pro, which comes specced with Quadro graphics. In addition, Acer is also adding a Concept D 3 to the lineup, and the 3 itself will also be available in regular and pro flavors. So that's a total of five new laptops that Acer is adding to the Concept D family. We checked out the Concept D3 here at IFA, and basically there's not that much different between the Concept D3 and the Concept D5. They both have the same 15.6 inch display with the color accuracy Delta E score of less than two. Now the highest end Concept D9 has a color accuracy Delta E score of less than one, so this is just slightly less accurate than that, but it's still very good for anyone that's working on graphics design. Another difference we noticed uh, just by looking at it was that the corners of the Concept D3 aren't cut off the way the Concept D5 is. That gave the Concept D line this very unique look. This kind of just looks more like a regular laptop in white. I also noticed that the keyboard seems a little recessed on this unit that we have here uh, at the show floor. Acer is not very clear whether this will be the case across all of the Concept D3s at all, but it did provide ample travel when I typed a few words out on it. It's not as responsive maybe as the Concept D5, but it is still easy to type on. On the unit we tested, there's also a fingerprint sensor, but according to Acer representatives, whether or not you get a fingerprint sensor will depend on the region. The real highlight here is the fact that there are Quadro graphics cards in these machines. The Concept D3 will start at the Quadro T1000 card, and if you move up the line, the Concept D5 will get the T3000, while the Concept D7 and 9 will get the 5000. Acer has yet to confirm the pricing for the new Pro Series or the new Concept D3, which is available in regular RTX and the Pro Quadro version as well. But given that the Concept D5 started at $1699, we're going to estimate it's more or less coming in at around that level. Even though the name Concept D3 sounds like they made a 13-inch model of the Concept D5, it's actually an entry level or a baser level of the series, which is nice. I know I can't wait to get a unit into the Engadget offices to test it out for a full review, so stay tuned for that before you go spending your money on one. For that and more news out of IFA 2019, stay tuned to Engadget.com.